right, good afternoon everyone. Uh, today we're going to examine how to add GPS telemetry data to various video files, be it from a GoPro or just your standard camcorder. Uh, really, I mean, you can add GPS telemetry data to any video now using Garmin Verb Edit. Um, Garmin Verb Edit is a free software available from Garmin's website. So in order to do this, the first thing you're going to need is to go to their website, download this Verb Edit. It is free. Um, so you can download it. They have it for Windows and they have it for Mac. So you, as you can see, you've got one for Mac, one for Windows. So just pick whichever one works for you. It works on a 32-bit or 64-bit system. It really doesn't matter. So you're going to want that. And then you're also going to want to install it, go through the whole process, and then you're going to want to have GPS data for the video you're looking at. So, I mean, when you have a camera that doesn't have the GPS built in, you're going to have to have an external GPS unit. Um, most uh, cyclists know what an external GPS unit is. Um, that's what video we're going to add it to. We're going to add it to one of the, my cycling videos. Um, you've probably already seen the video online, but the best way is just to get the file directly from the GPS and then import the file. Usually a GPX file works the best. So you're going to want to import the GPX file, import so. Um, some videos. So we'll just go through the whole process of importing a video. So the first thing you'll want to do, I mean, of course, you can, it wants you to automatically connect the Verb camera. I mean, it's Garmin software, so it's going to want you to use Garmin stuff. But you don't have to use Garmin stuff, so you'll hit Import Other. So you'll bring up your storage device. Um, we'll go back to Raw Video. And then we're going to be working with the same file, GoPro 2006. So we're going to just Import Only. You don't necessarily need to copy. Then once it's done importing, just hit done. So as you can see, this is where I screwed up. This one, I already added the GPS telemetry data to, and that's what that G metric symbol is. So we'll import this video here. We'll do the same process. We'll expand it. And this little icon here says it has no G metrics. Basically, it's just letting you know that you haven't imported a Garmin verb file because almost always Garmin verb files will have the G metrics data in it. So you can see there's no G metrics detected. So you'll have to import your own fit or GPX file. So you'll go into data and then hit import G metrics. And then of course it'll say, okay, there's no GPS device. So on the very left side of this window, you'll hit on my computer, browse, and then that'll bring up the GPX files. So I'll go back to my downloads. And as you can see, the GPX or FIT files are all going to be um, in the computer already. So they're, they're going to be highlighted. So it brings in the whole GPX file. So you'll hit use this log. And now since the, um, the camera itself doesn't have a GPS in it, your G metrics are going to be all off. So you'll have to sync the, um, the G metrics data with, um, with the video. So the easiest thing to do is to just go to G metrics again, um, go to G metrics sync, and then as you can see, you have your whole file here. And then it helps to get a, a frame up that you know where in the video it is or where it's located. So I like to usually pick either, like, if I'm on the road, I'll pick a street sign. If I'm, um, if I'm mountain biking, I'll pick a turn. So as you can see, you can just kind of scroll the GPX file around to find where you need it. And then I know I'm on this stretch here. And then you can zoom in. Uh, 
and then this little dot is what currently where you are in the video your position relative to the GPS so as I told you I pick a curve then you can use this uh, scroll wheel to fine-tune where the slider puts it so then once you do that now this is synced to here so what I like to do is go to another spot in the video that I know so I know right here I came straight up so right about there and then I turn okay so it's still a little bit this is a little bit delayed so we're just gonna move it up a little bit further so then you just kinda repeat this process until you get it to where you want yeah so it's still a little bit delayed so you'll do that again and then I like to go all the way back to another spot that I know Okay, so that's good enough for demonstration. So once you're done syncing it, you'll hit done. And then now your G-metrics data is synced up to your video. So you can see you have your G-metrics gauges over here. So the next thing you can do is kind of mess around with the appearance of the G-metrics um, gauges on the screen so you can select gauges they have templates available so you can basically take any one of these gauges so we'll take elevation and you can drag it and put it wherever you want it on the screen you can put it here you can put it down in this corner I usually put speed down here so you have little speedometers you've got so many choices you can really customize it however you want uh, you can put how the shape of the track is which I already have one over here so let's we'll pick a standard speed now they have 2d and 3d speed um, the difference is that it's just how the um, the gauge looks on the screen and of course the software they use isn't the best software I mean it, it's decent it gets the job done but it's not as good as something like Final Cut but you can't add G metrics data in Final Cut so then you can hit this and then you can just put it you can put it there and then you can just hit export um, the video will export and once it's done exporting you'll have the finished product so that's basically just a, a short little walkthrough of how you can add G-metrics data into your uh, GoPro videos your camcorder videos whatever you want so I hope you enjoy and I hope you found this helpful and I'll hope to see you soon. Subscribe and like please.